Previously on We Need Girlfriends. Hi. Hello. Well, how was I supposed to know you were going after her? Because the other day I looked at her and I said, squirrel. <laughs> didn't go to Vietnam. What's that? <laughs> Cambodia. It was Cambodia. <laughs> Can you believe I just watched eight hours of Three's Company in a row? Getting cable was the best thing that has ever happened to us. Henry, you ever been on a date before? Oh, sure. Yeah, Carol and I used to go on dates all the time. What about before she was your girlfriend? Oh, no, no, not a one. I mostly just hang around her a lot until she made the first move. Why do you ask? Well, I've never been on a real date either, and I want to ask Lucy out. I just, I don't know how to do it. Oh, God, there she is. She must have heard us talking about her. Doc. Hi, Tom. Hi, Lucy. Hello. Nice to meet you. Uh, you didn't hang with that? Oh, sure. Okay. All right. <laughs> Don't worry about him. He'll find his way home. So, do you want, do you want to maybe go out sometime? Like today or, or some other time you're free? Sure. That sounds great. Um, you can put the bag down now. Oh, thank God. Oh. I'll see you soon. Okay. Bye. Rod, have you ever been on a date before? What am I, gay? All right, well, do either of you have any useful advice for me? Well, this might be the Three's Company talking, but most dates only succeed if they involve a wacky situation. Like, take this for instance. Oh no! I lost the key! How can I go on a date with Lucy if I'm handcuffed to my best friend? See, now that's comedy. Of course, what I couldn't foresee was that I'd actually lose the key. Mm. You wearing that? You can do better. I thought I told you to call when you were outside. Yeah, I know, but I wanted to give you these. Mm. You're sweet. Um, come on, let's go. Okay. Beautiful water, isn't it? Um, do you think that's my shoulder? No, I, th I think that's the bench. It's just a bench that feels a lot like a shoulder. So we waited at Caldor's all day, and I'm, I'm crying at this point. And, and when I finally get to Don Mattingly, he picks me up and he puts me on his shoulders. And it, it... I'm sorry, am I boring you? No, no. I mean... I just thought I saw someone looking at us. Do you want to get dinner? I have to go to the bath. I'll watch our stuff. Tom. Tom. Thomas. Henry? Rod's here too. What's up? We've been following you all day. Because I'm Delta. Like Delta Burke. <laughs> uh, Henry, this isn't working. I mean, am I the boring one? 
Look, I'm not here to judge you, Thomas. We are all on your team. Team Tom? And we're here to give you the best dating advice ever. Be yourself. What's that from, Three's Company? No, our minds. I ain't actually a Three's Company episode. In fact, every piece of advice I've ever given you has been from a Three's Company episode. But it just, oh God, here she comes again, Doc. For your MySpace page. I'll get the check. Here's good. You live way down the block. Yeah, I know. Oh, I get it. Well, good night, Lucy. Good night, Tom. Sorry I was such a bad date tonight. I mean, the truth is, the truth is, I just got out of a really long-term relationship. I, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I know, it's pathetic, right? It's not pathetic. Then why are you laughing? I just got out of a really long relationship, too. Really? Really. It's not easy, is it? Tell me about it. I have no friends, and today, I watched eight hours of Three's Company in a row. Oh, my God. Well, listen, if you're ever lonely, you can come knock on my door. <laughs> I think that's the most pathetic thing I've ever heard. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't doubt that. Strangely enough, it worked. We should go out again. Good night for real. Good night for real, Liz. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. 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 Because Rod just remembered that Lucy was his squirrel first and now he's pissed. And we're still handcuffed together. <laughs> <laughs>